at Great Flinders between Ramblers and Cummins Kapuni Cougars. Played at Ungarra with the central umpires Peckover and Stott on a ground that's had a bit of rain but the wind uh, has abated at this stage and we're looking for a big final. Peckover throws the ball up to start the game. It's Minard against Peddler. Minard wins decisively. Moves it on to Peddler and George Variety. Picked up by Turnbull. Pretty scruffy. Wed gets a touch. Edwards, a bit of a kick. A toe poke out for Cooper. He's caught. Could have been high, but play on's the call. Finally, it's a ball up in the centre half forward position for Ramblers kicking to the southern end. Ball's up, Peddler and Walkup. No decisive tap. Ball to the ground. Run on from Fitzgerald. Gets a, a ball across to Faye and it's a goal. Yeah, uh, commentators today, Wilbur Williams, Rob Parsons. Uh, small ground footy today. We've got fairly good surface. Bit of rain just prior to the game, but not much. Side wind going straight across the ground. Randlers have opened up their account with the first goal of the match. Ball will come back to the middle. We've got Anton Pedler versus James Minard, both pretty skilled ruckmen, both pretty big boys. We'll see how they go on the second ball up of the day. Peck over to throw up again. Ball's gone up in the middle. Ruckman go at it. Minard again wins the tap. Mick, uh, Blacker gets a bit of a high tackle, but he's down low. The ball's socket out for Cougars up forward. Gathered by Richardson. It's dispossessed. Kick forward and a kick. Ball's scrambling forward for Cougars. Ball's knocked out. Gathered. Ball, yeah, Kenny's handballed the ball out. Sea gets kicked the ball forward. Dowdle's had a shot on the left, come back inboard to the middle, and Richards has marked safely. He'll just slow it down. He's coming out this side of the oval over towards the pavilion side. And just out of bounds, throw in called, centre wing on the clubhouse side. Thrown in, this time it's gone to the ground and trapped, and another ball up. Not too much happening just at the moment. Fellas settling down. Turnbull gets the knock, gets it to White. Finally out to Cooper on the right. It's a big kick from 50 out. Not looking too bad. Fades late, and it's one point only. Ramblers will kick out from the northern end of the ground. I reckon just right at the moment there's a bit of a lull in the breeze. It's not that strong at the moment. Scott Micken to bring the ball back in. He's gone pretty well straight down the ground. Micken goes up, it's off hands. Fitzgerald's over the top of the ball. Gets a handball smothered. Be a throw in right across on the other side of the oval. During the B grade, the ball spent a lot of time over there because of the cross breeze. Ball will get thrown in. Ruckman are at it. Two Ramblers guys go up. Fitzgerald gathers cleanly. Stabs the ball forward to Holman. Takes a clean mark. Wheels around on the right. Heads for Joel Fitzgerald. Takes a nice mark. Green loses his footing. Turning into a no contest. He's on about 40 metres. 45 metres. Well and truly in range for this guy. Kicked over 100 goals for the ES to this stage. Lining up. Generally a good kick. Running in now. Let's the ball go. Looks true. Looks straight through the middle. Goal umpire signals that way. So that's two straight, two Ramblers. One point, two Cougars. Yeah, pretty good goal there from the leading goal kicker, Fitzgerald. 45 out, slight angle, no mistake. As Rob said, the wind is... Uh, subsided and we've got pretty good conditions here right at this stage and it's Peck over again to throw the ball up in the centre. Bit of a scuffle at centre half back. Ball's up. Scott Blacker takes possession, gets caught high. Free kick. Comes out wide to the 
clubhouse side and it's fisted away by Hazel Grove from the Cougars and it's another throw in. Throws the ball in, Walkup and Turnbull, no one decisive, ball's on the ground, plenty of fighting going on. Still comes out finally to Carr from Cougars, gets a little left foot kick on to, to Kenny. Kenny plays wide to, to Wed who can't gather. Gathered by Ramblers, handballed away. They're going to get out of defence again. Minard long and strong. Straight down. Williams plays Fitzgerald. Ball off hands. Carr and Holman. Finally comes to Carr. Runs away on his right and punches it back to centre half forward. A big leap from Richardson, but unsuccessful with the one hand, and the ball goes to ground. Picked up by Ramblers, left footer, back down to that half forward position. Holman in the best place to go. Pushes the ball on. Gets a handball inside. Two Cougars defenders trying hard and finally it goes out of bounds. Left forward pocket for Ramblers. Doing all the scoring at this stage. Throws it in again. Big rut contest. Turnbull tries to take it out of the air and is penalised accordingly. So it's Simon Peddler. 30 metres, a slight angle, kicking for Ramblers' third goal. Very steady over the ball. Hit kicks with the right. Straight through the middle. Another goal to Ramblers. The scoreboard showing three straight to Ramblers. Cougars one point. Probably uh, Rob uh, eight to ten minutes into the quarter. Yeah, it's uh, just a matter of getting hold of the footy and dealing with it. And Ramblers seem to be doing that just a little bit better at the moment. Of course, there's a long way to go in this game of footy yet. Cougars' last game, second semi-final, was a pretty handy game of footy and they were too good for Ramblers. But this is a whole new game and we've got to sit, let the boys settle down and get into a rhythm and see who pans out at the end of the day. Ball goes up in the middle. Turnbull's up, gets a tap. Falls basically at their feet. Minard gathers, gets a handball forward. Fairly scrambly. There's a ball out. Hazelgrove gets a kick down forward. Richardson's under it, takes a safe mark. Very solid in defence at this stage. Looking to drive it long up towards Walker, but half forward. It's a big, strong boy. Williams gets a tap down. Harmon goes through. The three under one there. That's pretty close to out of bounds. He's tackled. Good tackle by Blacker. And uh, very fierce tackling. That's good to see. Ball goes in off throw in. Turnbull's up and down and missed the ball altogether. Des lands is over the top of the ball, knocks it forward to George Peddler, gets one round high. The free's been paid. The player will he's kicked the ball off now, looking for Fitz. He's gone past him, looking for Peddler, who takes a soft mark, plays on, goals. Takes the score to four straight for Ramblers. Cougars seem to be worried about not watching the flight of the footy. They've got to watch that or they'll get built it up forward if the ball's in that close. Some good match-ups around the ground. Carr, Walker, half back, half forward. Uh, Richardson, Borden, at the other other end of the ground. Seagate, Clawton. Some really good match-ups around the ground. Peck over again is getting all the work in the middle. As far as umpires go. Ball's gone up again. Turnbull and Minard. Minard gets a tap again to Peddler. No effective clearance and a high tackle. That's about the second or third one Turnbull's pulled out in the last five minutes. He's just got to watch his tackling a bit. Scott Blacker to take the kick. Looking for Peddler who takes a mark out on the wing. Fairly crowded forward line past half forward. You'll get that on a small ground today. Kick goes in long. Looking for Peddler. Off hands now. Wollaston gets a kick out of defence. Cabot punches free. Carr misses gather. Jack Peddler get uh, Jack. Nelligan gathers the ball, but well tackled, and there'll be a ball up. Yeah, starting to hot up a bit, Rob. Peck over throws it up again. Again, it's Turnbull. Walk up, walk up, wins it to Blacker. Gets on his boot quickly, straight down the ground into the forward area. Fitzgerald can't gather it. Hazel Groves over the ball. Fitzgerald somehow gets a kick away. Close to the, the goal, and Simon Peddler taps it with the left foot. It's another goal. Five straight to Ramblers, five goals, 30 points to Cummins-Capini, one point. 
Randall is running the ball very well out of the centre. Peddler, Blacker, doing pretty tough work underneath. Peckover's loving it. He's going to throw it up again in the centre. It's Turnbull again against Minard this time. No decisive tap, but Minard gets his hands on it on the ground. Gets a quick kick away to the centre-half forward position. And here's a good contest, Hazel Grove and Holman. Hazel Grove first to the ball. Holman right on his hammer, and the line beats them both. Throw in on the half-forward flank. No decisive tap. Both Ruckman doing pretty well. Finally, it comes out to... Ramblers who get a kick away to the centre of the ground. Gathered by, no, that's off hands. Fitzgerald gets a quick hands to Fay on his right. And guess what? It's another one. Six goals, 36 points to Ramblers. One point to Cougars. At this stage, it's a whitewash. Yeah, it just seems to be the Rambler boys are cleaner at the footy. One grab stuff. Uh, Cougars seem to be just run a little bit second at the moment to the ball, so that makes life hard when you don't have hold of the footy, especially at this sort of pace. So Peck over again to put the ball up in the middle. There's a bit happening round the ground. The, both sides won't give much of an inch if there's a tough bit. They'll both be in there. The rucks go up. Minard's getting over the top of Turnbull, who seems to be hamstrung a little bit with a sore knee. The ball's on the wing now. It's a bit scrambly. Minard gets the ball out again, gets a handball out to Micken, gets a right foot kick up to Deslands, and a scream has been taken by young Edwards, right on the wing in front of us, got over up above his opponent. Kicks now, it's pretty close to the boundary line. Yeah, thanks, Rob, and it's marked in defence by Ramblers. Cougars have thrown one loose in defence, trying to stop this onslaught. Edwards goes for another big fly, but he's too late, and Holman has paid the mark. Scott Micken running down the ground, and Fitzgerald coming out, off hands it is, Wed gets a bit of a chew at it, toe poke, can't, uh, Fitzgerald traps it, stacks on the mill, throw it up, centre half forward for Ramblers. Stop this time, umpire's doing a pretty good job at this stage, balls up, same Ruckman, Turnbull and Walker over the top came, Holman straight to Williams who's trapped and it'll be a ball up. Yeah, it's just about 40 metres inside Rambler's 50 metre area. Walkup gets a knock forward, but straight to Borden. Borden clears on his left left hand side. Cabot's back, knocks the ball down, and Minard gathers on the left, pokes it right back in towards full forward. Joel Fitz and Green have a go at the ball. It comes to ground. Fitzgerald's over the top of it. Cooper's with him. Hall comes at it and pushes across the boundary line. So there'll be a throw in on the 50 metre arc for Ramblers on the southern end of the ground. Umpire to bring the ball in now. Rucks go out at Walkup. Holman comes over the top, knocks it 20 metres clear down towards Joel Fitz. There's a bit of a soccer forward and it's just gone out of bounds. Scott Blacker just got the wrong side of the ball. Borden will take the kick in right by the point post. Ramblers in. So being a left footer, he'll probably come this side towards the commentary position. Not a lot on offer. There's a lot of close stuff, but nothing long. He'll get called to play on in a minute. He's held the ball a fair time. Yes, he's come this side. There's tall timber there everywhere for Ramblers. Young Tyson Mickens marked right on the 50 metre arc. He's on the left footer. He's kicked it long. Headed towards goals and it swung through for a point. Cougars to bring the ball back in. That's the first point kicked by Ramblers this quarter. A six goal one to Cougars one point. Seb Kenny to kick the ball back in. So they have their set plays, have done all year. With the short kick out of fullback, was own defence. Borden takes the mark. Drives it long outside wing. Fitzgerald up and under the ball. Holman gathers off the punch off the pack, headed towards the centre. Walkups at the ball, takes a good chest mark. No, he's called, called it a 
bump ball. And the umpire will have a toss up. Walkup doesn't know. So there'll be a toss up on the edge of the square, 50 metre zone for Ramblers. The Cougars get a punch out by Turnbull. It's gathered in and tied to the body. Be another ball up. Players want to be a bit careful giving away free kicks. It's tight and congested in there, pretty ugly. Now it's cleared. Cooper gets a handball out to Wed. Wed dis dispossessed by Peddler. Raked it out of his grip. Desland gets a kick forward. In towards Fitzgerald and Williams. Fagret's on the end of a handball. Gets a kick. Umpire's a bit quick. I think he disposed to the footy. But it'll be a kick to young Edwards in the half back line of Ramblers. Yeah, a bit of a soft one there, Robert. But anyway, it's for Cougars to try and clear out of the uh, forward line of Ramblers and it's kicked out to Hall. Pedal on the mark. Hall looks for Hazel Grove and Kenny. Kenny comes over the top and takes a pretty safe mark. Goes further down the wing looking for Jacko Wotherston. Can't get it. Green's up in the forward line. He dodges a couple, tries to get his kick, but he's pushed off it, picked up by Blacker, gets the hands out to Peddler, he's clear. Peddler on the right, punch it in to Holman and takes a great mark, but he went on, he went on, but he's off. No, Umpy said, I'll give you a go, Sonny. Got to drag him around the mark. He won't, he's not listening to the job. It was a good goal, but Rob, she won't go on the scoreboard. He's 45 metres from goal. Maybe a slight crosswind starting to come now from the southwest, and Peddler, uh, sorry, Holman will kick for their seventh goal to the quarter. What a great start in the grand final! So it's Holman on a 30-degree angle. 45 metres from goal, pretty good kick, will kick with his right, Hazel Grove on the mark, kicks through it beautifully, looks good off the boot, umpire hardly moves and it's a great goal. Seven goal one to Ramblers, one point to Cougars. Come on, quick. The camera's moving now, get out. Uh, just got a little bit uh, popular here with the kiddies who thought they might sit on the back of the truck and it hasn't done much for Ron's camera work but we've uh, alleviated that problem and we're back to the centre. Peck over again to throw it up. All the play's been going round was in. Stott's had the general play and Peck over's been thrown up in the centre. Does it again. Minard comes up high. Big thump. Picked up by Edwards. No wed. Couldn't get a kick. Walker gets the crumbs. Punches it in and Faye takes it on the chest. Running all over them. Faye 30 metres. Distance won't be a problem. And as the scoreboard shows, the Breeze had very little influence on the kicking at this stage. Going for their eighth goal. Comes in, punches it pretty hard and it's another good kick. And it's eight goal one to Ramblers. Just absolutely killing the game at this stage. All the possessions, winning in the ruck, winning on the ground and kicking very accurately for goal. Yes, still reasonably early in the game, but uh, it's all one-way traffic at the moment. Cougars will have to regroup at quarter time. A bit of a think about it. I think Rambles have got the scoring in, but scoring's a little bit easy for them at this, this particular moment in time. Peck over to put the ball up. He's probably had most possessions for the game. Up it goes in the middle again. Minard's winning convincingly, gets it down, but Turnbull gathers out the centre and sends it forward. It's in our four position. Micken goes up, drops the mark. Scrambly under there. Richardson gets low to the ground. It'll be another ball up. Tied it up nicely. It's about 50 metres out from Cougar's goal. It's only about the second time they've been that close to goal this quarter. Rucks go up. Minard again with the tap. Ramblers clear with a good handball to Peddler out towards the outer wing. It's on the full, but it's still a long way from Cougar's goals. The 
2.30 start, so this quarter's ticking away slowly. Must be nearly time. The kick in by Cougars now up towards half forward line on the other side. Punch forward by Ramblers. Cooper can't gather. He gathers it now. Gets around the pack. Gets onto the left boot and drives it forward. Richardson's under it. Doesn't take the mark. Tamble's gathered and collared well by George Pedler. Stalemate there. There'll be another ball up. They can't penetrate the 50 metre arc as such, the Cougar boys yet. Ball goes up. Ruckman up and down. Neither of them get a hand of the ball. Cougars get a handball out. Richardson gets a kick. It's up in the air and Black is under it. Cooper drops the ball. Gathers again. Gets tackled. Gets dispossessed. It's a free ball. Ramblers gather by Eugene Walker. Out to the side. The Corey Fitz gets on the left. The bounce will... Yeah, Hazelgrove gathers well. He's driven it back in long. Mickens under the ball, but I think the boundary line's going to beat them all. There'll be a throw in on the forward flank for Cougars on the outer side. Boundary umpire's thrown it in now. Minard's under it with Seagat. Seagat's been quiet so far, but he hadn't had much of a chance to get at the ball. Pedler grabs, gets dumped in the tackle. The ball comes out. Cooper again gets onto the right boot, but he's run out of bounds. There's not very much room over there for him. Umpire boundary to come into play again. Ball comes in again. It's over the back. Zeb Kenny gets a tap forward. Tiger Cabot ties the ball up low down. Corey Fitz has been tackled, dispossessed. Pedler gets a kick out. But uh, Turnbull drops a sitter, but still good enough to gather. Mickens up high and misses the mark. There's a flick out there. I think it was a one-hander, but Ramblers are on the end of it. Minard kicks forward. Williams is leading the chase to the ball. Usually pretty tidy. He's left it for another player. Green gathers. Heads for the boundary line. The bounce will get him. And that'll be a throw in. Throw in right in front of the commentary position. It's Kenny going up against Walkup. Walkup gets it down. No decisive tap. Fitzgerald, a big handball. Goes forward. And Edwards is pinged for a high tackle and Des Lands will take the kick just on the edge of the square. Plays on quickly with his left, puts it right into the square. Big contest, off hands, picked up by Wotherston. Big right footer, puts it out wide. Cooper's got the run of it, can't take it. Clever tap to Wed, but he doesn't get it. It's picked up by Des Lands, I think it is, on the left. And it's a magnificent goal. Is that Fitzgerald, is it? Sorry, Fitzgerald. Corey Fitzgerald on the left from 30 metres out. On the dead pocket, straight through the middle. They can't do any wrong. Nine goal one is the score. Nine goal one to one point. And I think the Cougars will be waiting for the siren to sound. Yes, I know when you're playing this sort of an onslaught, you just want quarter time to come so you can regroup. Uh, can he look forward to let Randall's get another couple of quick ones on time on period now? Minard's all over the top of Luke Turnbull in the ruck. He's definitely hampered by that sore knee. He's going forward, young Nelligan gathers. Goes out wide, he's got it on the left, but he's kicked it straight to a Rambler. Opposing player in the back pocket. Go across goal now. Richardson's on his own, he's got a whole paddock out there. He's had one bounce. He's going now to drive the ball long. Down to the half forward line to Holman. Drops the ball, Fitzgerald backs up nicely. Gets a kick on the left to Fitzgerald and he's one grab mark in front of Green. Uh, no hesitations about Douglas's Green's play. He's a good little player, excellent little player, but body-wise he's just a bit small for Joel, I think. But still a good player. He's got to be on Joel's lead when he's got to be with him or he'll outmark him all day long. The kick goes in now. Wait on the goal umpire. He's just pushed it across. It's a second minor score for Ramblers. Score is nine goals, two to one point to Cougars. Turnbull to kick the ball back in. Corey Turnbull, they're varying their fullbacks today. Kicks out to the outer side, straight to Simon Pedler. In the pocket, who passes off, kicks into the man on the mark. Wotherston gathers, kicks it forward. Wed's on the wing on his own, takes an uncontested mark. Probably should have got on with it. He's holding the ball a bit long, waiting for something to happen. He's kicked it straight to Ramblers. Tyson Micken taking a good mark in the centre of the ground. Looking to come across field. Micken's there on his own, takes a mark. It's a bit of a mismatch there with a road runner Ruckman. Plays on now. 
Walkup's under it. Fitzgerald, little nudge. Gathers, good tackle for a little bloke. Desland gathers. Gets a kick on the left. Out in front of the players. Bert. Joel Fitz letting at the ball. Takes on Wed. Didn't see much in that. Uh, just a clash. Just a body clash. Wed, Wed's a recipient of a free kick. They're under the ball. There's a shepherd out there. That one was on, though. Borden gets a free kick. Just elbowed under the ball. He's going to wheel around on the left, as he does. It's high. It's probably a bit too high. Nobody gets a clean mark at that ball. The wind got hold of it. Push forward for Cougars. Scott Micken gathers. Ball's on the ground again, right on the boundary line. There's a kick come inboard for Cougars. Tiger Cabot gets a punch on it. It's up in the air. Corey Turnbull, lucky, falls in his hands. And I think Cougars have snuck a goal through. Hard work, just a lucky punch in the air. He was under the ball. You've got to take your chances when you get them. So the ball will go back to the middle. That's the first goal for Cougars. And the quarter would nearly be done. Yeah, a bit of change while the play was on there. Rob uh, Williams has come off with a leg injury and Letton's gone into the back lines. Cougars don't seem to be manning up. Rambles are having a pretty easy run at the ball and they're really applying themselves to it. The ruck, Minard's doing pretty well in the ruck. Turnbull leaping with him but not being able to get any decisive taps. And Peddler and Fay and Scotty Black are just cleaning up on the ground. Again it happens, Scotty Blacker gets it out quickly to Deslands on his left. Into the forward line again. Out comes Joel Fitz, can't quite take it. Cougars clean up through Zeb Kenny temporarily and it's thumped over the line and will be another throw in. Peddler up high, comes to Fitzgerald, the goal sneak. He's dispossessed, ball to the ground, Turnbull over the top, bodies over stacks on the mill, finally comes out, Carr gets a half a kick, goes on, finally picked up by George Peddler, gets around his right, puts it in the centre, but it's Corey Turnbull in defence to take the mark. The goal kicker from a couple of minutes ago in the back lines, drives it long down the defensive wing side, Borden's in a sandwich, comes to ground, black as the first there, can't get it out and there'll be a ball up. No, he's letting it go on the umpy. No, finally, he's going to ball it up. On the wing, almost time in the first quarter, nine goal two to one goal one. A 49 point deficit to Cougars. Again, a throw in after a scrimmage over the line. It's Turnbull and Minard again. No decisive tap, comes to ground. Cougars get a handball out to Cooper. Gets a quick kick away. Down the forward flank for Cougars, but the boundary line beats them again. No one in the forward lines for Cougars. Throw in on the dead flank. Pretty ordinary throw in, but anyway, there's a couple of bit of volleyball going on, and finally Blacker gets out of the pack and gets a kick away. Dribbles it down to centre half forward. A few blokes go on bodies and no ball. Finally it's picked up by Hazelgrove. Handball's nowhere. Jack Peddler, sorry, Jack Milligan, quick kick forward. Off hands to Borden. On the left, puts it up high. Need a mark here. The siren's going to beat him. No, it comes off hands. No one can get it except Jack Milligan. He's over the ball. He's still over it. Pretty ferocious. Finally Scott Micken gets the handball out wide. Only as far as Turnbull, he goes for the man instead of the ball. And it's going to be a... No, he's given the free to Turnbull. Well, there you go. There you go. Perhaps we can't see it very well from where we sit. But anyway, Turnbull gets a kick in, right in the forward line. Not too many home. White high. Cooper gets a possession, and he's just swamped. And there it is. I think it might be the correction decision. And Rambles come out easy as you like. Coming down the club room's flank. Walkups up high for walkup that is. Off hands. Still nothing decisive. Walkup gets half a half a handball. In comes Luke Turnbull. Ball over the boundary line. Throw in right on the wing position. Walkup taps it over the back, going as far as Cooper. 
and he can't get his possession away as the siren rings with the quarter time score. Ramblers kicking to the southern end, nine to goal two, 56 points to Cougars, one goal one seven. Well, we might not be here much longer, Rob. Here we are about to start the second quarter in the ball goes aloft. Peck over again in the middle. Starting proceedings, second quarter, 2005 grand final, Cougars Ramblers. Minard's up again over the top. Peddler over runs the ball in the middle. It's in and under, a kick forward for Ramblers. Holman gathers it half forward. Rolled off the ball, the ball's come free. Fitz is collared. Sean Fitz is wrapped up in a tackle. There'll be a ball up at half forward at the end of the cricket pitch for Ramblers who are now pushing slightly into the breeze, but it's not that strong, but it is pretty cold out there. Wotherston gathers back pocket side, drives it out towards the wing, Cabot's under the ball, drops the ball to Marks on the ground, fighting hard, there'll be a ball up. Uh, the last quarter we kept saying it was nearly done, but I think it went for pretty close to 30 minutes, with all those goals kicked the time on. Cooper grabs the ball, runs through the centre nicely. Delivers the kick beautifully, but still, Whitey's got the ball. Gets a kick round the body. Hoping for Jules Dowdle, but the kick was just a half volley, pretty hard to gather. Just makes, con if the conditions come in and close up and get wet, it makes life really hard for football. Sea gets under the ball. Zeb Kenny gathers the ball. Kicks it, but he swung it right across the face of goal. That'd be a minor score. The Ramblers will kick in, Richardson to take the kick. So with this zone defence in modern footy, it should be a Rambler clearance. It's guarding a space and not the man. It's a long kick, he's going right outside the zone defence. Micken's under the ball, nobody gets a hand on the ball. Minard gets a handball to Fitzgerald around the outside on the right foot. Forward to Dares Land, who's under it. Holman goes at the ball, eludes him. Hazel Grove gets a kick to the centre and Corey Fitz plucks off a nice mark in the centre of the ground. He'll come to the left-hand side being a left-footer. He drives it straight up the middle, looking for Joel Nagel. Hand in front, slightly pushed in the back, will get the free kick. Wotherston, I think, yes. He's come to this side of the oval with the kick. Wed's on his own, got loose on the wing. Corey Fitz's man have been back taking the kick. Wed gets a kick forward. Ramblers are under it. Richardson takes the mark. Three on to one there. It wasn't a real good option with the kick. Richardson drives it forward. Holman's under the ball. Desland lurking. Gets the ball. Gets a sort of a knockout. Corey Fitz has been wrapped up without the ball. Though. Somebody's trying to clear the kick. Carr gathers the ball. Comes through the wing on the run. Gets a kick forward. Seagate takes his first mark for the games. Has a poke at the goals, but he's hooked it slightly. When you get it up in that wind, get it up in that wind, it'll push it across the front of goals. No professional positional change for Cougars. They're persevering with this lineup. A long way to go. Rain starts to patter down, and the nine goal lead's going to be very handy in these conditions. Richardson kicks out again. Good long kick. Gets the centre half forward position. Blacker gathers on his left. Puts it out wide. It goes on further down to Deslands. Good spoil by Edwards, and the ball goes out of bounds. Throw in again. Half forward flank for, for Ramblers. Off hands from Walker. Quick kick away by Cougars. Picked up and punched back in. Good lead from Simon Peddler and he marks 40 metres out, dead in front.
Pedler lining up for Rambler's 10th goal early in the second quarter. Comes in, very deliberate, kicks right through the ball, straight through the centre, and there we have another one. 10 goal 3, 63, plays 1 goal 1, 7. Rambler's continue to win the ball out of the centre. Too many running players around the ground, most of them unchecked and Cougars yet to settle into any real pattern. Stop this time in the centre to throw the ball up again. It's Minard against Turnbull. Minard doing particularly well at these centre bounces. Ball goes up. Again Minard, great tap to George Peller, he misses it. Scott Blacker over the ball, paid a free for a high collect and he takes the free just behind the centre circle. Goes down to Desland who's got a paddock and he marks in front of Hall. Goes around on his left, playing on at all costs, puts it in for Holman, almost a mark, off hands, Corey Turnbull out to Green. Green a handball to Kenny. Kenny with his pace gets away, pokes it closely to the centre of the ground. Borden comes through with Richardson, straight to Co Cooper again. Gets the handball away, only as far as Minard. Ball's on the ground, three ramblers there, push it towards the boundary line and finally it's over. Not much organisation in this uh, Cougar forward line. This time it's Seagit against Minard. Seagit pushes him out, gets the ball to Corey Turnbull, looks for Kenny, can't find him. In comes Craig Hall, handball away, no man's land. Jack Nelligan's there, tackles, ball comes out, two Ramble blokes. Number 16, can't see him at the moment, gets a kick, it was Minard it was. That's smothered, goes back to, gets to White. White handballs indoors to Jules Dowdle. He gets it away to Jed Seagit on his right. A quick shot and you wouldn't believe it, but he's hit the post. One point only, one point only, but they're starting to attack, which they need to do. Richardson again will bring the ball out. Good long kick. Go to the defensive side. We have an infringement on the ground. We have a balloon that has in interfered with the kick out and the umpire with all sorts of authority decides that he has another shot. Richardson in his second attempt now. Kicks long and high. Up for one and somebody. Plenty of leaping but no mark. It gets out to Scott Blacker who pushes it on quickly to Fitzgerald. He gathers on the left. Quick kick away only as far as Cooper. Starting to get in the game. Cooper gets a handball away to Edwards. Edwards on his left. And it's well smothered by the Rambler player in Fitzgerald and out of bounds on the half forward flank for Ramblers. The score still showing 10 goal 2 to 1 goal 2. Yeah, just noticing Wilbur, the playmakers for Cougars are really being well held. Kenny, uh, Corey Turnbull, those type of players, they, and, and even Brad Cooper is just starting to get a bit of the ball, has not been allowed to do anything. They get the ball there set upon pretty quickly. It's over on the outer side of the ground in the dead pocket, just inside the boundaries. A struggle on. Holman's got the ball. He's dispossessed. Uh, Cougars get a tick. It's high towards the boundary. Walkup's under it. Dispossessed over the line for a throw in on the other wing. Outer side wing. Boundary umpire will bring the ball in. Just starting to get some light rain here, which won't do Cougars cause any good at all if it comes in too wet. Ruckman go up, no decisive tap. Minard gathers, gets a slams it on the left. Fay's leading towards the race of the ball, gets bumped off the ball. It's pretty tight in that dead pocket there. There's hands and feet and people going everywhere. It's tight and close. There'll be another ball up. Peck over to put the ball up in that dead pocket. Turnbull hits it towards the boundary line. Holman flicks it back in. Fitzgerald gets it on the left. It's up. Cougars have got a hand on the ball and it's rolled out for another throw in right by the point post of Rambler scoring in the northern end. 
Turnbull and Minnard Holman to take the ruck this time. Turn, Turnbull gets a good ruck forward. Corey Turnbull gathers the ball off the ground, gets a kick on the left. Good mark, Tyson Mickon. No, it's come to ground. He's hadn't quite gloved it. It's tight. Cabot gets the ball now. Short kick over to Minard, who's out on his own. Gets it high. Fitzgerald's under it, but quite safe. Takes a quite safe mark. Wheels around on the left. Drive towards Pedler, who takes a one grab mark. 20, 25 metres, just off centre for a shot at goal. Can't quite see in this side who's going to have the reach and the desire to stop Simon Pedler with a grab like that. He's just so strong out in front. Lining up very deliberate. Running into goal now. He's just hooked it, I think. That's probably his first blemish. Farris kicking for goal. Score goes 10 goal, 3 Ramblers, 1 goal, 2 Cougars. Zeb Kennedy to bring the ball back in. Goes to the outer side. There's a bit of a missed kick. It's low, straight to Deslands. Just shanked that kick. And I reckon where Desi is from there is in within range. He's got a very powerful kick for a little bloke. Just a missed kick from full back. The ball's a little bit wet and slippery. It's a big kick, but I think he's dragged it. Just a minor score. Score go 10 goal 4 now to 1 goal 2. Ramblers away. Seb Kenny to have a rerun. Anton Peddlers, I think, has come on on, on the ground. Dowdle. Replaced Julian Dowdle. Tall for a small, which puzzles me in this weather. Cougars, Corey Turnbull, weaving his way through traffic, got collared. I think the just tried to do a bit too much. There wasn't a lot on offer, that's why he had to hang on to the ball. Hetty takes a mark in the middle of the ground, Holman's on his own. One would ask why is, it, why is he out there on his own. The lead, the kick is too short for Fitz, well marked by Edwards. There really is a stumbling block here for Cougars, there's not much on offer. The kick's high, hoping for a mark from Anton Pedler. Gets under the ball, Fitz gathers, gets a kick to Richardson, it's up, straight up in the air. Packs under it, Holman takes the mark, but it's play on, it's only 5 metres wide and 10 metres high. Corey manane has been brought on, gets the ball over, the kick's up forward. Fitzgerald goes for Mark, it's dispossessed. Blackard dis doesn't gather. Carr gets it out. Kick comes forward from Cougars now to half forward. It's a good grab. Wider, wider takes a good grab. He's gone over the other side of the ground. Hawley's on his own. He's backing under it. He takes the mark. Within range. He's got to put this on the scoreboard. That was good play by Whitey. He used his eyes, had a look around. But they'll have to, we'll just see how his kick goes. If he gets this, they'll have to have a lot more of that type of play. He's coming in now, he kicks. Wait on the goal umpire. No, it's straight through. He snuck it through the goals. That's a good goal. Well played. Got out on his own, as a rover should do. Ball will come back to the middle. A quarter and a half of football gone, and that's Cougar's second goal for the game. Seem to be getting their runners going a little bit better now. Minard's gone off for a break. Walkup comes into the ruck against Pedler. Pedler decisively to... Kenny, quick left, goes forward to Seagate, he can't gather, on the ground, plenty of Ramblers defenders, pushed out, still no one can get a decisive, now it, now it is from Micken, gets it quick on the left and pokes it out over the boundary line, 55 metres from the Cougars goal. Just a slight drop of rain. No wind. Ball thrown in by the boundary umpire. Seager gets to Cooper, gets to White. 
tries to get on his left, well tackled, kicked away by the Rambler defender, only as far as Hall, he turns on a sixpence, spins it inside and finds Tonic Peddler. Still on the wing, he plays on now, got trapped by two Ramblers players, very defensive they are. Back to Scotty Blacker, running through the centre, pokes it out wide to Deslands, on his own, got a paddock, puts it on the left, and it's a Rambler goal. Just too easy, just too easy. The 11th goal to Ramblers. Back in the centre. Start to put the ball in the air. Walk up against Pedler. Puts it up now. Both have a bit of run at it. Got away to Weddy, couldn't collect it. Peddler knocked it out. Another Rambler player on the bottom of the pack. Finally, Cooper comes out small. Handball to Kenny on his left. Looking for Turnbull. That's Luke Turnbull. Gathers, gets a handball inside. Kenny it is, another handball to Wotherston on his left. And he pokes it through. A quick goal from Cougars there. They seem to get the ball out of the centre for about the first time for the game and gave themselves an opportunity to attack the goals. But it's still a long way to go. 11 4 70, plays 3 goal 2 20. Back in the centre, pick over this time to put the ball up. Again, it's walk up against Peddler. Puts it up. Both get a bit of a tap at it. Cooper's starting to come in the game. He gathers well, gets on his right. Tries to hook it back for Seagat and finds him. Couldn't hold the mark. Off hands. Kicked out of the pack. Got Borden over the ball. Borden slides in. Rambler's in there. Hard defensive work. Umpire Stott, ball it up. Southern end of the cricket pitch to the end being used by Cougars. Ball's up. Peddler can't get a run in it. Comes down. Stacks on the mill. It's going to be another ball up. Stott does it again. Slight rain. Hacked out of the air by one of the Cougar players into the centre forward position. No one there except Richardson. Gets a toe poke to it. Kicks it forward only far as Turnbull. He can't gather. Micken on his left. Pokes it out wide. No mark again. Balls to ground. Hard tackling. And Stott will ball it up. Plenty of Ramblers defenders here in the centre half forward position for Cougars. Balls up. Cougar can't get, Cougars can't get a run at it. Walkup does. Gets a quick left away. Fitzgerald runs onto it on the wing. I think the boundary will beat him, and it does. Ball in again. Peddler, walk it. Hit the ball to the front. Hall gathers. Can't get a clean possession away. Gathers again. Finally gets it to Carr. Works around on his left. Not much to kick to. Gets around, finally kicks with the right into the half forward position. Big fist from Clawton and the ball's out in the uh, pocket half forward flank area on the left side of Cougar's goal. Ball in again. Plenty of blokes under the ball. Seagat gets a quick kick, go, doesn't go far. Nelligan's in, head down. Again, White tackles well. It's kicked away by... Ramblers as far as Scotty Blacker, quickly on his right and spears it into uh, Fitzgerald on the wing position. He looks towards the centre, looking for Holman. Good contest there, off hands, picked up by Hall. Handball to Kenny. Kenny, a little toe poke to Corey Turnbull. Back to Kenny on his left, not much room. Gets it into the half, uh, the full forward position. Off hands to Seagat, and he's trapped well. Finally, it comes out. Off hands, out of bounds, forward pocket. 
Yeah, I think Cougars have lifted the tempo a little. Uh, help, I think, as the wind's dropped pretty well right out at the moment, which hadn't hurt their cause at all. Ruckman's go up at it, no effective touch, tackle, be another ball up. Just this light rain falling, which is making grabbing the ball a bit difficult. Ball goes up. Ruckman got it, Seagate gets a hand on the ball. Cooper goes in hard over Peddler, sit under the pack. Another ball up. So just the last five or six minutes, the Cougar boys have had their first grab of the ball, which is good to see. Mekin gets a slap out wide. Corey Turnbull's over the top of the footy. Gets Collar, gets the handball off. Cabot gets a handball. It's right by the boundary line. It's rolled over the boundary line. Throw in there. On the 50 metre line for Cougars. Attacking side. Turnbull gets a good ruck. It's come back into the pack again. Mekin gets a boot to it. Handball out. It's tight, close work. Peddler gets the ball, gets a kick. Has an airy. Gets a handball out to Mekin. Gets it forward. Nobody there for Ramblers. Wed takes the kick on the wing. He's gone around on the left, poked it over the other side of the ground. Looking for Zeb Kenny. Fitzgerald puts his hand on the ball, stops it, gathers, gets a kick forward. Desland gathers. No, gets poked away from him. Fitz again, grabs the ball. Holman loses a handle and over the boundary line it goes. A uh, little bit predictable. That they seem to be going to Zeb every time they get the footy. Ball comes in on the boundary. Ruck's go up at it. Holman's in the ruck. Faye gets a kick into the pack. Bounces off. Cougars get a kick forward. Micken attacks the ball. It just must be a little bit slippery. Players having trouble gathering the ball. Head towards the boundary line. Another throw in on the outer side. Rambler runner out. Just shoring up the ship a bit. In comes the ball on the throw in. Holman goes up. Fitzgerald gets it, gets a handball forward. Cougars gather, get a miss kick over towards the cricket pitch. Peddler grabs up clean, gets it on to the left. Peddler under the ball. Green gets a handball back. Cleared by Cougars to keep it, a half back line. Peddler, two under one there. He's got to pick it up over the boundary line for throwing. Forward flank area for Ramblers, northern end of the ground. Ball comes in. Two smaller guys, uh, Turnbull gets the ball out, only as far as Ramblers, it's in under the pack again. Umpire's letting it go here. And he'll have another, another toss up. Peckover's caught a ball up. A few players around the ball here. Ball goes up, Holman's in the ruck at the moment, Turnbull pushed him off. Kick forward by Cougars. Corey Turnbull gets a boot forward, walk ups under it, takes a safe mark at half back. Looking to go on to the left, gets a long kick forward. Pushed under the ball, but Micken has gathered off hands. Shoots towards goal. Peddler's under it. Nobody got a clean hand on that ball. Boundary line's going to beat him. It's in the dead pocket for Ramblers over on the other side. It's going to be a throw in. Luke Turnbull versus Peddler. Luke seems to have trouble when the taller men come into the ruck. Free kick been picked out, haven't quite known. No played advantage, Cougars. Wollaston takes a half volley. He's been paid the mark. Back on the mark now, having his kick. Micken on the mark, looking for an option up forward. Taking a long time. Gets the kick, it's just high. Looking for Seagate, gets punched away. Wider gets a handball forward, missed his man by quite a way. Richardson gets the run at the ball. Knock the ball through the point line. A minor score for Cougars. Safety first. We'll kick out now. Go to the bottom side. Got about 20 minutes of quarter so far. 24 minutes gone. Just sizing up his options. It's going to go long. Kicks it out long. Walk-ups under it. Cougars touched the ball, probably should have just let it go, he would have got a free kick. Young Hall, just inexperienced there. Throw in now on the other side. Walk-ups up, both down, no ruck, oh, there's a high bump. Uh, Scott Black had received the free kick. 
Blacker to take the kick. Bit of push and shove going on, but still going to be Blacker's kick. He'll clear across the ground to Pedler, who's been left behind all on his own on the half-back line as one bounce. Left foot up. Up the ground to Micken, who let the ball go. I think he got called out of it and he got sucked in there. It's a good, good ploy. Corey Tamble takes a safe mark on the wing. Now all the players went down, so he's got to wait for somebody to come front up for the lead. It's fairly congested. There's a fairly hard way to home from there. Going to the centre of the ground, Luke Turnbull takes a mark. Right in the centre. Looking for something to happen, but there's no leads coming forth. He puts it up. Small guy's under the ball. He's knocked free. Minard gathers. Handball to Pedler. He should clear the ball. Manane's on his own, takes a mark. He's off. The right footer, he's kicked the ball forward. Joel Fitz is over the top of the ball. Holman gathers. As the pack forms, there'll be another ball up. Ball up, centre half forward, Ramless position. But comes to ground. Nothing happening, plenty of scrimmages. It's knocked forward towards the boundary and finally there's a free picked out for a kicking in danger and goes in the way of Doug Green. Had his hands full back there with Fitzgerald today. Goes across the ground now, playing defensive football out of that back line and finds with a good kick, Hall. He kicks longer, looking for Seagate. Seagate can't mark. Well sport by Pedler. Sorry, it's Cabot. A scrum develops and it goes over the line on the wing on the outer side. 11 to 3-5-23. Micken gets the knock down to Blacker. Can't get away. Trapped. Another ball up. Does it again. Turnbull gets his hand on it this time, only as far as Pedler. He goes down low, and Turnbull comes over the top, giving Pedler the free. Half forward flank, outer side. Pretty penetrating kick. Going in looking for Pedler, uh, for Fitzgerald. Can't mark. Comes off hands to Carr. Trapped on him, and will be another ball up centre half forward position. Plenty of pressure on the Cougar back line. Peckover puts the ball in the air again. It's still Turnbull and Micken. No decisive tap. Fitzgerald gets a run at it. Comes off to Fitzgerald, who gets a kick forward to Fitzgerald. They're everywhere, these Fitzgeralds. But it comes off hands and finally cleared by Michael Borden. Dribbles it out wide on the defensive flank, and it beats him over the boundary line. Pretty quiet crowd. Just a light sprinkle of rain. Ball's thrown in again. Again, it's Mick and Turnbull. Turnbull grabs it out of the air, gets away only as far as Fitzgerald. He gets a quick kick away into the half-forward position, but it bounces out again. And a fair bit of time spent on that boundary line on the defensive side. It's thrown in again. Turnbull still rucking there with Holman. No one gets a decisive tap. Ball comes out. Seagate gets a quick possession with the left. Finds Turnbull at the end of the cricket pitch. Defensive side of centre. He comes close to the commentary area. Scott Mickens on his own. Can't take the mark. Wed gets it off hands. Gets it on the left. No one up forward except White who's fighting hard. Comes off hand. White recovers very well. But only as car comes in. Peddler comes in. Ball's on ground. And it's going to be a ball up. Centre half forward position. Cougars moved the ball into the forward line, but no one home to help with their attack. Ball goes up again. Off hands. Cooper's got the run of it, picks it up, just pokes it with the left, looking for Hazel Grove. He gathers, but Thornton's on his hammer. And there it is, the half time siren here in the 205 grand final. Ramblers 11 4, Cougars 3 5.
Start of the second half of the 2005 Great Flinders Grand Final. Ramblers 11-4, Cougars 3-5. Bit of sunshine, rain stopped, no wind. Can Cougars do anything to bridge this eight goal gap? Balls up, Minard again, back on the ground, gets the first tap, comes off hands. Cooper gets a quick kick away. Not too far, but it goes in that four, half forward position for Cougars. Plenty of blokes over the ball. Umpire blows the whistle. We'll ball it up. 50 metre line. Cougars kicking to the northern end. Ball up. Minnow again up high. He's been good in ruck. Got it down to Pedlu. Got a quick handball away. Only as far as the boundary. Cougars try to trap it and do so. Wotherston, quick kick away. Sliding the ball, Jack Milligan. He's caught. Ball up again. In a decisive tap, but only as far as Cooper. Quick right foot. Wotherson stretches, cannot mark. Out over the line. Defensive half forward flank for the Cougars. Thrown in. Minard decisive tap again. Cooper reads it well. Gets a handball away. Jet picked up by Carr. Fumbles. Tackled. Tries to get the ball away. Peckover says, let's throw it up again. I've worked it down to the wing. No score in the second half. Turnbull up high, but too early. Again, it's out to Fitzgerald. Gets on his left, drives it long. Faye drops back. Gathers well, gets it on the left, pokes it into the forward position. It's off hands. And finally, Green taps it through for a minor score. Ramblers score a point, the first score of the second half. They go to 11 5 71 to 3 5 23. Not too many changes for the Cougars lineup. They're persevering. Borden, the coach, to kick out. They break from the huddle now. Kicks long to the outer side. Seagate, Turnbull there. Plenty of Rambler defence. Cooper gets it off hands. Had a few kicks today, Cooper. Gets it on his right. Finds Jack Milligan. Plenty of movement down the forward line, but decides to go short to Cooper. Half forward flank. Cougars attacking. Go short again. Off hands, plenty of fellas around the ball, plenty of, and it's finally got out by White, gets a quick jab with the left, but it's all ramblers in the defensive area, Richardson just mops up, lopes away, handballs over the top, comes down the near wing, Edwards first at the ball, well shepherded by Seagat, gets the handball to Borden, Borden on the trusty left, Punches into the half forward, looking for Hazelgrove. Outmarked or almost by Richardson, and the ball goes out of bounds right in front of the coach's box for Ramblers. Throw in again, Minard against Hazelgrove. Hazelgrove gets up high, but Fitzgerald crumbs it. Gets it out to Richardson, plenty of time. Whams it on the boot, but it's a bit offside and just bounces inside. No, the umpire says it was out on the full. Cougars to take the kick. Holman on the mark. Luke Turnbull. Plenty of movement up forward, but everybody's covered. Peckover says go, and he kicks long. Plenty in the air. Oh, and an easy mark to Richardson. Just too easy in the back line. Playing very defensively. Making his decision to come down this... Flank, kicks long again, right in front of the commentary, plenty of... As a push in the back to Holman, and he'll take the free. Turnbull on the mark, plays on quickly, looking for the lead of Fitzgerald, and he takes it on the chest right on the 50 metre line, maybe 45. Dougie Green on the mark, and this will be another goal to the uh, leading goal kicker, Joel Fitzgerald. No wind to speak of.
The, the mark's at 45. Comes in decisively. Head over the ball. Very good kick for the ball, Fitzgerald. Kicks right through the centre. And it's another goal to Ramblers. 12-4, 76, plays 3-5, 23. Yeah, that was a lovely finish by Fitz. He had to work hard to get that mark. It was a long lead. A very true kick, aided by the fact that the wind has dropped right out. It's actually quite good conditions for footy at the moment, which is against the weather forecast, but we'll take it. Minard, I think, was rested before half-time. He's come back on and he's winning the ruck over Turnbull in this third quarter, quite, quite demandingly in the middle. We'll see what happens with this ball up. Cougars have got all their big guns in the middle now. Cooper, Kenny and Borden. They need to make a move. They've, they can't afford to play just catch-up footy. Turnbull's up. Minard gets a hand on it, but not effective. Borden gets a kick forward. Richardson's under the ball. Just didn't quite grab it. Micken backs up, gets the kick forward. Drops the ball, young, young, young Edwards dropped the ball. Wasn't under pressure, should have gloved it. Miss kick by Seagat, and it drops into George Peddler's hands. On the wing, he's put it half forward. Des Lands uses the body, gets rid of the player well. Corey gets a handball out, gets slung. Socket out of the pack. George Peddler's over the top of the ball. Backside in first. Scott Blackie gets a handball inboard. Holman's over the top of the ball, dispossessed. Car gathers. He should clear, gets a handball. Borden will get a kick right in front of the commentary, and that's wide. That's out of bounds on the full. Rambles will bring it back. Should be coming... You'd think 50 metres down the ground from this kick. Micken to kick the ball in. Not a lot of movement up forward yet. Umpire just setting the mark. This movement starting to happen. Hot kicks forward. Gone for Eugene Walker. One hand up and he's taken a good mark. Didn't get paid. Balls around. Hawley gets a kick to the centre of the ground. Claughton's up and under and misses the ball altogether. Wilder gets a shovel out. Nelligan gets the ball across, Micken gathers over top of the ball. Oh, he's got out of his legs. Fitzgerald grabs the ball, he's collared by Keeper, tackled, couldn't go anywhere. There'll be a ball up. Rucks go at it again. Kenny's in the ruck this time. They're underdone for Ruckman Cougars there in that contest. Fitz over the ball, Minard over it, Fitz again. Clawton gets a kick forward, it's rushed. It's Faye turns his player inside out. Douglas Green leads to the ball. He's kept it in front of him. Cleared nicely. Hadn't had much of the footy today. Hadn't been allowed to. Corey Turnbull gathers. Hall on the wing. Forward. Minard under the ball takes a safe mark. It's just smart footy. Just filling up the holes. Kicks back out towards the wing to Holman. Seagat in front of him. One arm up. Off hands. Boundary throw in. So no Ruckman there at all for either side. Yes, Turnbull's turned up. Holman in the Ruck. Turnbull wins that. Goes straight to Blacker. No chance. Be another ball up. Ball goes straight up. Play straight away. Turnbull gets a hand on it to Hall. Ball handball over the top without looking. Straight to Peddler. Walk up under it. Punched away by Carr. Good punch. Letton misses the ball. Walk at one on to three and still going to hold that ball in the area. Half forward for Ramblers. Walk up under the ball, gets the tap away. Cooper gathers. Come round on the on the right boot now to the wing. Corey Turnbull under it. Knocked away. Corey Fitzgerald gets a kick forward. Jim Holman attacked the ball. All Cougars here. Two or three under one. Carr will clear the ball. Runs his full measure. Clears the ball. Minard again just... Went through his hands for a big guy. Wotherston's trying to get through. Loses the ball. Peddler get, gets a handball. Blacker takes a bump. Corey Fitz drives the ball forward. Joel Fitz, Simon Peddler on the end of it. Fitz is clear if he can see him. Safety first, I think he's going to go for the goal. Right side for a right footer. About 35 yards out. Heads over the top of the ball. Just pushed it. Fitz is under it. Deslands at it. 
Fits over the top of it again, holding it in the area. Big ball up in front of Rambler's goals. Dug the screen over the top of it. Ball straight up, I'm put up, waste any time. Holman at it. No clear knock. Cooper gets the ball again. Cross to Hall. Kicks it up. Looking for Zeb Kenny in the middle, finds him. Coming out wide. White is on his own. Going to go back in the middle of the ground. It's all zigzag, but it's possession footy. Dropped the ball in front of just the wrong man to take the mark there. The shot goes in. Out of bounds. Ramblers will be happy with that. That probably should have been a better attack at the goal there. Just chopped off the guy who had to sit and he just got chopped off. Throw in right by the point post of Cougars. Ruckman go up. Ball's knocked out of the ground. Micken gathers. Gets tackled. It's on the ground still. Ramblers gather. Another tackle. Nelligan gathers. Kicked it goal. And a minor score. The Ramblers to clear the ball. Richardson to bring the ball in for Ramblers. Controlling everything in defence, Richardson. Comes to the club room side with a big torp. Good 60 metres. Plenty of Ramblers under the ball, can't hold the mark. Comes to ground, finally Clawton gets it out, only as far as a Cougar. It's on the ground. Hall gets it out as far as Scott Blacker. On to Fitzgerald. Has a bounce. And it's marked by Fitzgerald. Would have been down the ground. The Ramble player disposed of after the kick. But Fitzgerald was on the end of it. And he's 40 metres out. On the boundary. Rather sharp shot. But a beautiful kick for goal. Over 100 goals for the season. Comes in across the boundary line now. It's close, but just a little bit to the left. One point only. Takes him on to 12-5. Cougars 3-6. Borden to bring it back in. Doesn't waste any time. Looking for Cooper. Bodies well. Gets the mark. Plays on quickly. Finds Wotherston on the wing. He handballs back to Cooper. Handballs in front of himself. He's trapped. Trying to get the ball up. Trying to do it all by himself. And he's run out of bounds. Keeper's done a pretty good job. Run the ball 50 metres along that boundary line. Needs a few supporters. Ball in again. White's up. Down to Turnbull. Gets the handball away to Borden. Quickly on the left. Drops it in, but back in defence. I think that's head, is it? Yeah, head for Ramblers. Only come on in the second quarter, but played pretty serviceably in that back line. Finds Deslands. Too easy. On his left. Pokes it to Senar forward. Letting in front. Gets the knock away. Only far as Holman. He's tackled. David Carr gets the kick away. Finds Hall. Oh, <laughs> well out of bounds. Right in front of us. Throw in again. Walk up Turnbull. Turnbull makes the front spot. Gets as far as Hall. He tries to find Carr. Misses him. Comes out to Fitzgerald, quickly on the boot. Fitzgerald and Green, punched away as far as George Pedler. Rides the bump, fumbles, picks up now. Again, he's tackled, and he's allowed to play on, and kicks a goal. Too easy for the Ramblers. 13-5, 3-6. Ramblers making several changes now, giving both Manane and Pilgrim a run. No fears of throwing this game away. Minard against Turnbull. Minard again decisively. Robbed by Kenny, but he can't get it away. Finally it's bubbled out. Stott says, let me have it, I'll throw it up again. 
Minard, Turnbull in front. Minard decisively again. Down to a Rambler player who's collared. And we've got no choice to bounce it again. Scott Blacker was on the end of that one. Rutland Fossick for position. Turnbull gets it away. Bad bounce. Jack Nettleggan gets it to Hall on his left. A quick kick. Scott nicking in defence. Eyes only for the ball. And he takes a good mark. Half forward line for, round, for Cougars. Settles the play down now. Looking at his options. Goes down the centre of the ground. Wed picks up the crumbs. Gets collared, but not before he gets away to Edwards. He gets away to Carr. They're all under pressure. Carr dodges and weaves. Gets it away to Edwards. Slams it on his boot, only as far as Fay. No real system in the Cougar. Play. Edwards fights for the ball. Does well. Short kick. Looking for White. He can't pick it up. Off the ground. Finally makes it to Walker to Fitzgerald who drops the ball but gets away with it. Gets it on his left and who should be there but Jade Manone. 48 metres out. Just off centre. A little bit of breeze maybe coming from the east. Won't affect the kick. Lines it up now. Going for Rambler's 14th. Didn't quite get it. It drops short. Off the hands of Fitzgerald to the other Fitzgerald. He has plenty of time. Weaves around a couple of players and puts it through for another goal. He yeah, just appears to be in that forward line, Wilbur, that they're just letting the players try to make a mistake. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. They're slipping the tackles, getting through that tight stuff when they probably shouldn't be. But the ball's going to have to come back to the middle again. Score now is Ramblers 14-5, Cougars 3-6. Ball's going to come back in the middle. Very evident when Minard's in the ruck that Ramblers can get it out the middle. He's dominated in there. Pedler Fitz, Des Lands, all low down players in the middle now. Minard's the only tall. Up again the Ruckman go, he gets the hands out, brilliant stuff out the middle, straight to Scott Blacker. Fitz is behind Douglas Green, leads him to it. It's all Ramblers, it's shanked out the side and it's gone off the side of the boot for a minor score. And I reckon he might have copped a bit of a knee in the bum there. Just a bit of a dead Fred. Borden to have the kick back in. He'll always go the bottom side, left footer. Just pretty tight there, he's got no options, he's going long, outside to a contest though, not to a single. Holman knocks it forward, Pedler gets his hand on it, Cooper's got it, it's tied up, be a ball up. There's just not much room, no gaps for any players to run away here. Second man up in the ruck was young, uh, doesn't matter, Zeb Kenny's gathered the ball on the wing. Gets it on the left, but a missed kick. Bowls them all. Cyril Carr picks up, tries to get through. There's a high tackle. He'll receive a free. But what that does is just slows him down. He hasn't got much up forward to go at. There's absolutely nothing to go at. So tries short. Corey Turnbull. On the left, pushes it over towards the middle of the ground. Just clears the whole pack. Fitzgerald's leading to the ball. Gets it right over towards the boundary. And it goes out of bounds. Right in front of the crowd, in front of the club rooms. Thrown in. Traeger's on the ground. He gets the punch, but only as far as Micken. He punches it to a walk up at centre. Got runners going down the ground. Straight into Simon Peddler. Too far for that player. Picked up by Fay on the left. Brings it round, but not far enough, and it's out on the full. Forward pocket for Doug Green to bring it back into play. Green to bring the ball back into play. Kick 
kick long down the defensive side. Not much to kick to. Round is very defensive in this area. Marked by Holman. Gets it away quickly. Goes in towards Fitzgerald. He can't gather. Tom Phelps, one of his few possessions, comes around on the right. Only goes as far as Cooper. He's still got plenty of run. Handball over to Borden. Running with him is Traeger. Drives it long in the Hazelgrove direction. No mark. Comes to ground. Richardson again. Gets a quick kick. Only as far as Borden. And Borden marks on the half-back flank. Not much up forward. Plays on now. Drives it long with that left. No one at home. Plenty of ramblers. Off hands it is. Comes out of the pack. Cabot. Hall. Out to Corey Turnbull. Out to... Wotherston. Wotherston gets it back to Borden. Borden drives it in. Not too many home. Kenny has a go. Wed can't hold his feet. Ramblers clear it now. Only as far as Nelligan. He's collared. Wed gets it out finally to Corey Turnbull. And for the second time today, that reliable left foot puts it through the middle. And Cougars finally get a goal in the second half of the game and go to four goal six, trailing Ramblers 14-5. Ball's back in the centre, Peck over to put it in the air. Minard, decisive winner in the ruck all day, gets it to Blacker. He gets it to Pedler. Pedler goes out wide. Got the runner coming down the wing on his left. Drives it back in for Joel Fitzgerald. It's just all too easy. And Joel Fitzgerald marks 25 metres in front of the southern goal. Been the story of the day, Minard, Pedler, Blacker in the centre, plenty of runners and Fitzgerald up forward with a good pair of hands and a pretty good kick. Missed his last shot which was pretty uh, uh, difficult from the pocket but this time dead in front. Comes in now, head over the ball, done this plenty of times this season, kick straight through the ball, straight through the centre, Ramblers have 15. Cougars have thrown Traeger into the ruck against Minard now. Traeger fresh off the bench. Stott throws in the air. Both ruckmen get a fair run at it. And Minard decisively straight down the throat of Pedler. Straight on the right boot. In it goes. Missed by Letton. Jade Minone can't grab it. Dougie Green straight through on the left. And pokes it out to the boundary and... Brad White takes a good mark in front of Cabot. Plenty of defence up forward. Plays short, finds Craig Hall. Still not much to go for. Hall kicks long, looking for Kenny. Takes it off hands. Gets on his right, looking for Julian Dowdle. Can't mark. Off hands. Traeger's got it, turns, doesn't know what to do, gets on the right, puts it in, but who's home? No one. All Ramblers. Richardson again. Been a tower of strength in the back line, just pokes it across the boundary line on the 50 metre arc. Just too much experience back there. Thrown in, Traeger up, no decisive tap. Peddler's on the bottom of the pack as he's been all day. Traeger gets in the back. Pushed in the back by Walker. Play on, says the umpire. Clawton hits it out. Gets it to Scott Micken. He gets it to Holman. Holman. It's mopped up by Wotherston. He gets it finally to Hall and hauls away down the outer flank. Puts it in for Hazelgrove. Can't grab it. Good defensive spoil by Micken. Off hands. No decisive possession until it comes out to Wed, slams it on his left boot and who's there? Adam Richardson comes away quickly and 
Ramblers drive it in again. Looking for Simon Pedler. He moves pretty well. Gets a loose handball as far as Latin. Latin handball to Phelps. Phelps handball to Green. Oh, the port of undone and it's there for Joel Pedler. Gets it quickly on the left and it's a goal. Too easy. 16-5 to 4-6. Yeah, no, it's uh, still in the third, Wilbur, but I think the gate's well and truly closed here at this game. If Cougars have a top quarter of 10 goals next quarter, they still can't win. It's starting to hurt. You can see it on some of the players' faces now. Just the body language is there. Minard's been just so dominant in the ruck. We'll see how he goes again in a minute. There's a lot of talk around the ground, but it's mainly black and white jumpers doing the talking at the moment. The so ball's about to go up in the middle. Just waiting on boundary umpires. Here we go. Rucks go up. Nullified this time with a bit extra late. Corey let Turnbull gets a kick. Minard again with a tap backwards. Gets it under Holman. Holman to Pedler. Pedler's under the pump. Eugene Walker gathers the ball. Fitzgerald at it. Cleared by Borden, but a short kick. It's got to be play on. Young Hall's having a look. The options are slim. It's a good mark by Wider. Richardson was under it. Good step ladder. It was a good grab. He's played on. Played on Corey Turnbull going forward. Drop mark there by Dowdle. They seem to be covered everywhere they try to go today. That's a throw in in the dead pocket for Cougars. Well, not really dead now because there's not a lot of breeze. Yeah, on the full, on the full. okay. Tyson Micken. You'd think he'd go for tall timber long. He's going to do just that. He's gone to the short timber and missed him by a mile. Young Traeger's taken a mark. Handballed off to Borden. On to the left. Come across the ground again. Corey Turnbull's missed it. It's bowled him. Richardson in chase. It's been tied up there. Out to Cougars. It's a loose ball again. Zeb Kenny. Collard. Inside out. Lost it. Minard's gathered. Hadn't got it. Over. Well done, boy. That's three quarter time here at Ungar Oval with 16 5 to Ramblers to 4 6 Cougars with a big job today. In the west looks very, very dark. So the A-graders could still get a bit wet yet. Balls are good. Balls are left at the start of the last quarter. See how Minard goes in the ruck against Turnbull's come back on. Minard gets the tap again. Just giving his rovers, his ruck rovers, a chance at the ball every time. Tied up in the middle for a ball up. Stop to put the ball up again. Minard behind this time. Check side ruck. He gathers the ball. He's almost cleared it off his own boot. Fitz has got it. Pedler. On the left. Fay. One grab mark. Pedler's kept on running. He's delivered to Simon Pedler. George Pedler under the pack. Out of bounds. Throw in. Pocket. Left hand side for Ramblers, northern end. Holman to take the ruck. Gets pushed under it by Turnbull. Has no trouble with the lighter ruckman, but the tall jumpers, he has real trouble. Cooper in the middle of the ground. Hall should have played on there. He didn't have to go back and have his kick. He should have just wheeled around and played on. Good kick, good grab. Yeah. Hazel Groves taking a nice mark at half forward for Cougars. Played on straight away. Zeb Kenny in the middle. That's what they've got to do to give themselves any chance at all to get back in this game. White, White's taking a good mark in range. See whether he's got the goods to kick the ball that far. Taking a couple of nice marks today, but hasn't been 
a dominant forward on the ground. Long run up, hope he doesn't get lost on the way there. Coming in now, a bit of a stutter. He's pushed it way right for a minor score. They really can't ill afford to do that. They need to get it through the middle and chase it up with another few more. Richards in the kick out. He's kicked out all day. For mine, he's near best on ground to me. Bicken takes one grab mark on the other side of the ground. His left footer will come in board. Scott Micken under it, is under it, dispossessed. Rovers over it, ball's on the ground. Boundary side, still in play. Knocked out now, boundary throw in. Minard again, line up against Turnbull. Just seems to be too strong. Turnbull beats him this time. George Pedler gathers the ball, can't get a kick, does this time. Fitzgerald on the end of it, Sean Fitz, Ashley Fay, balls anybody's, Letton does well, gets it to the middle of the ground, Cougars take off, it's hooked on the left but a good kick in the end, hazelgrove has been swung up forward, a lot of noise, miss kick, White has got up this time, a bit closer this time, he's still got to have a shot. I wouldn't be passing off if I was him. It's a little mind game he's got to play now, whether he can actually thread one. Hadn't had a lot of the footy. So run up again. Bit of a stutter. Long stutter. Gone across the other side. Overcompensated for this shot. Ramblers punch it out of bounds. No, it's still in. Hooked around by Cougars. George Pedler thumps it forward, 30 metres. Plenty of Cougars there. Borden hooks it. Tall timber on the goal line. And it's still touched. Minor score. Yeah, Cougars attacking uh, the southern end, but um, it's all too late. Richardson to kick out. Comes to the club side and no problems finding Nickham who plays on quickly. Gets it down the wing where Holman leads the race to pursue it. Off hands. Finally comes out to Pup Faye. Gets to Holman. He taps it back to Faye. Faye, a nice pick up. Goes in board to Fitzgerald. Puts it over the top to walk it on his left. Simon Peddler in front, just too strong. And Simon Peddler marks in the goal square. Certain goal here to Peddler. Been pretty strong up forward. And he pokes it through for the 17th. 17-7 to 4-8. Cougars fought hard to keep it in the forward line for some time, only getting a couple of points. Ramblers take it down very decisively, and it's a clean goal. Best players, Rob. I think uh, Minard would have to be pretty disappointed that he went off the ground for 10 minutes because I thought that he'd be um, by far the best. He's dominated that ruck in the centre and around the ground, but Richardson's been very strong in defence and there's been no Cougar forwards that have been a get, easy, get an easy touch. Up again, Minard again. Gets down to Cooper, rubs it this time, gets it on to Kenny, has plenty of time, pokes it in for Brad White, goes wide and he's taken the mark. Starting to come good, he's had no confidence at all. No confidence at all, so he quickly plays on and puts it inside to Corey Turnbull who's the only multiple kicker for Cougars today. Kicked two goals at the northern end, one in the first and one in the third. Now kicking for his third at the southern end. But that left foot of his just jags it across and it's through for one point only. Richardson kicks out again, but Wed positions himself pretty well and takes a good mark on the 50 metre line. Not much to go to. He goes right indoors, straight to Scott Micken, and he marks it centre half back. Plays on quickly down to the uh, defensive flank. 
where Holman and Seagate contest. Off hands, it's gathered by Cooper. Pokes it in the centre for Luke Turnbull. I don't think it was meant for him, but that's where it went. He dropped an easiest of marks, and the ball is trapped on the ground. Only going through the motions now. Not much uh, kick from Cougars. Peck over throws it up. Holman this time wins the knock, only as far as Edwards. He can't get a disposal, has another go at it. Finally gets it away to Borden. Borden on the left, drives it long. Up and under kick it is. And no mark out of bounds on the half forward flank. Throw in. Scott Micken over the top. Finally gets to Cooper. Can't get the ball away before he's scragged. Fitzgerald picks it up. On the left, drives it to the centre position. Eugene Walkup can't get there. George Peddler tries hard. On the ground he is. Richardson, where did he come from? It's on the ground. All the stacks on the mill and it's going to be thrown up. Bit of pushing and shoving, which is a bit late. Should have happened in the first quarter. But anyway, umpire's happy to throw it up. Umpire's been pretty good today. Throws it up again. No one decisive. It goes in the Rams' direction only as far as Seagate. He can't gather. Edwards tries. Turnbull can't dispose of it. Walker -up works hard. Peddler, George that is, gets it out finally to Fay. Drives it in. Joel Fitz off hands. Tom Phelps comes through, misses the ball. And finally it's pushed out of the boundary and for a throw in in the forward pocket for Rambles. Yeah, it's a good job by Dougie Green. He's been outclassed again uh, today, but not so two weeks ago. He's coming in that quick that he can't chop his lead off. He's just coming in too well and too often. Two weeks ago, I think it came in a lot slower. He was able to deal with it, but not today. Young Weddy's got the kick on the half-back line, goes across into the middle of the ground. One, There's two players up, one of each. Comes to ground, Scott Blacker, handball out, knocked out. Again, knocked out. Holman over the ball. It's in tight there. Umpire's decided to ball it up. It's a bit of a slog there. There's plenty of stacks on the mill there. 20 players around the ball. Walkup goes up, gets the tap out. Carr gets a miss kick. Nowhere. Fitz, there's a lot of groaning going on. The ball's free. Hall gets a handball out. Peddler's onto it. Still onto it. Ball's knocked free. Richardson again. Ball's still free. Stacks on the middle again. This is not going to get Cougars any goals by letting Ramblers bottle it up like this. They've got to flick the ball out and get the runners going. Rucks go up. Minard again. No decisive ruck that time, but been good all day. Richardson over it. He's demanding the ball. He wants to be there. Fitzgerald, Sean. It's it on the left. Walkup's under it. Looks slow. But he's got the black covered. Douglas had nowhere to go. Carr gets the ball, handball out. Cooper's in trouble. Got collared. Gets the handball out. It's missed his player though. Ashley Fay's gathered the ball, looking for options to Minard. Big bloke's tired, but he gathered that well. Got it forward. Still in play. Ball short. Turnbull marks. Luke kicks inboard. Straight to Richardson. Must have had 10 or 15 marks today. Going across the outside the ground to Jade Manane on his own. Takes the ball well. Delivers. Fitz gathers on at pace. Got the oh, dubious handball out. Manane still kept on running. He shot at goal. Shepherded through by Simon Pedler. And that's a good run. That was a good run by Manane. Covered half the oval. So the score goes now, 19-7 to four goals nine. And it seems to be one-way traffic in this quarter. Interesting to see how Minard keeps going right through the game. He's done a really good job in the ruck, putting it down there. Got it up again. Turnbull gets a hand on it. Zeb Kenny's got nowhere to go. Still in and under. Zeb's at it, misses it. Heady's over the ball. Richardson again. Can't get it through. Handball out. 
Wotherston loses it. Cooper's collar travelled 10 metres and 30 tackles in that little bit. It's all pressure and they're getting no room to move. The dying end of the game. 14 goals difference on the scoreboard. They wrestle on the ground. Some tired bodies there. Ramblers from running and Cougars from chasing. Seb gets it off the pack, puts it on the boot quickly. Gathered by Corey Fitz, handball only as far as Luke Turnbull. Finally it comes out to Minard. First run, picked up by Scott Black, I've been running all day. Puts it on the left, just a little bit wide, and I think it's gone out of bounds. He's found a kick for Cougars. Cougars to bring the ball back in. Comes across goal to Carr, he can't mark. Well punched by Fay. Edwards gets the crumbs off to Borden. Kick back into the centre for Turnbull, can't manage it. Holman over the ball. Cooper finally, good clean hands, gets it out. Misses his target. Again, gets the jack. Nelligan that is. On to David Carr, he finds Seagate. They've finally got a bit of run. And he pokes it in for Hazel Grove, who's on his own 40 metres from goal. Had a few shots at the southern end in the last quarter and unable to convert. Hopefully they can get one here. Just going back to those best players, Rob, I think that um, Minard and, and Richardson have raffled, raffled it. I thought uh, Pedler and, and Black are in the centre have also been the instigators of a great uh, start in the centre. Meanwhile, Hazel Grove has kicked truly. Only a young fellow out of the Kinlow Cup side. Kicks a good goal, but too late for Cougars. 18-7 plays 5-9. Yeah, I think you're right, Wilbur, young Hazelgrove. He's got a bit of toe. He's not a bad footballer, but too little, too late. I think up forward for Ramblers, Fitz and Pedler were just, just dominant. In the middle is uh, the three, Minard, Blacker, Pedler, Richardson across half-back line, Tyson Micken, all good players. And Sean Fitz has had plenty of the footy around the ground, opposed to Cooper most of the time, and he's had a bit of the footy. Minard again. He's giving his Rovers and his Ruck Rovers so many chances. There was a tied by Minard. He's, it was there. Loose kick. Down the ground, looking for Hazel Grove. He seems to be the one to go to at the moment. Wilder gets a handball over to Hazel Grove again. He wants the footy. Wotherston peels around. But at best, that's a minor score. No, out of bounds on the full. That's the sixth time to go for about three or four points this quarter. Scott Micken to bring it back in. Lots of tall timber there. Head goes for it. Punched away. Didn't clear the pack. Scott Blacker gathers again. It was deliberate, but it's a throw-in called by the umpire. It's late in the quarter and players are tired, so that's fair enough. Gets the slams it on the boot, Borden, for a minor score again. And I think our scoreboard attendants have thrown the towel in. Run out of numbers, Robert, eh? Yeah, run out of numbers. So here's a change. Sean Fitz to kick in. Smallest man on the ground, except for young Hawley. He's found a man straight away. They caught him play on. Must have been a bump ball, but plenty of black and white jumpers there. Cabot now to clear. Out to Micken, who takes a mark out on the outer boundary. It's up the ground of the wing. It's bowled, it's bowled the whole pack. It's even bowled the half forwards. Cooper to gather. He's, he's been, I think, their best player. Still going at it. Still going at it. Gets a kick, but it's an up and under. Minard covered. Got it to ground for Fitzgerald. Minard still at it. He's... Had a pretty good day at the office, young James. Hazelgrove passed off. Wrong option. Should have had a poke. Richardson again chops it off. Clears to Blacker on the outer side. A couple of minutes to go, the players are saying, so we've got to go through the motions now for a couple of minutes. Blacker's going to slow it right down. 
Yeah, there couldn't have been much time when uh, Michael Minard came on for a run. He's on one leg. He tore a hamstring badly last week. So it's a pretty good indication that the game's nearly gone. Car to gather and over the side on the boundary on the other side. Boundary throw in. Eugene Walker will take the ruck. Gets it quite easy. Well done, Letton. But only as far as Scott Micken. There's too many tools to cut across the half-back line. Micken drives it forward. To half-forward, looking for Harwin. Takes the chest mark. Opposition to Jed Seagert, who's been strangely quiet this week. A pretty good player. Fitzgerald takes an uncontested mark, really. Douglas has just been... <coughs> Well beaten today, but that's not his fault. He's too light, too short for that position. But he generally does it pretty well. Against the power forward in the association, that's a big job. Fitzgerald lining up. Head over the ball. And that's just a powerful kick straight through the middle. So I think the scoreboard should read about 20 goals, 7 thereabouts to... Five goal, 10 or 11. It's, a, it's quiet out there now. The punch has gone out of it. The crowd's pretty quiet. They got their money's worth for the B grade game. But it's been a bit one-sided in this one. Mainly due, I think, to the guy in the middle. He started the game, giving them the, every chance to get at the footy. Cougars haven't been able to stop him. Peck over to put the ball up in the dying moments of the game, 2005. Tried it again, but it went to Borden this time. Clears the pack. Hazelgrove again. Outmarked by Tyson Micken. Plays on now. Comes on the left-hand side. Over the top to Min Minard, which goes to ground. Wed looks tired. Gets the ball to come up. Round on the left boot. Straight to Quartz, who drops the ball. He's kept all the half-forwards quiet today, but hadn't had much of the footy. Mickens under it, gets the punch. Gathers the ball on the rebound. Clears it, 40 metres out, toward the boundary. Hauls in possession. Gets around his player. Sends it in inboard to Corey Turnbull. Who really should have a shot for goal, but he's passed off. And Luke's going to have a shot. Luke Turnbull. Must kick this, he's well in range. Coming in now. Gone at it, lovely kick. Just not enough of them. It'll put them up to six goal, nine or ten. But the sting's gone out of the game now. Most players are walking back. It's 20 to five on the... Saturday afternoon now, so there can't be a lot left in it. See if Minard can raise a gallop again in the ruck. Against a lot lighter man on the other side. Ball goes up. Ruckman are at it. Again, he knocks it forward. It's clear tap to the Hassanar forward. Blacker runs through off the hand off Walker. Straight to Pedler. One grab mark. Two seconds of work there. Peddler's over the ball. Very deliberate. And that's straight through the middle for another one. Both he and Fitzgerald must have five or six, seven goals apiece. Very telling on the scoreboard. Mainly due to that effort of the Minard in the middle. Good rucking all day. Had a spell, 15 minute spell. Been on the ground ever since. Peck over to put the ball up. Time must be nearly over unless they keep kicking goals. We'll get a bit extra time. Ball's up. Minard puts it down Peddler's throat. Minard on the run of the ball. Looking for options. Fitzgerald this time. One grab mark. I think the Cougar boys might have conceded. It's just a bit easy at the moment. 
Identical shot to Pedler. Head over the ball. I think it's good enough. Yes, it's another goal by Fitz. It's uh, almost academic at this stage. Players are waiting for the siren. They know it can't be far away. Body language tells a story for one side. The other side's still full of go. Ball will go up. Hard to see Minard not winning it again. The other guy's just too short. He does it straight down Peddler's throat again. Minard himself gets the clearance. Over to Holman. Wide to Clawton who's run up the ground. Minard to get a kick. His first kick and no, he gets a handball. That leg's no good. Long hair, does a good job, Clint Letton. Jack Nelligan, faded off the ball, but had nowhere to go. Long hair collared, that's got away with it. Board and tackled. Kick up in the air, Wotherston. Wider tried the one-hander, that's over the boundary. Throw in right in front of us. Throws it in for hopefully the last time today to put everyone out of their misery. Minard trying hard still. Pushes it forward in the way of Micken. Free, um, Traeger picks it up. Can't do anything with it. Clawton finally gets it up to Minard. Minard handballs again. Back to Micken. Minard tries a one-hand. They should have perhaps been paid and would have been in the heat of the day. But Ramblers just play with it now. Just raffling it. Back to Fitz, Corey Fitzgerald. Poor kick and okay. go, gives Seagat one of his rare kicks today. He gets in the centre to Zeb Kenny. A few runners left for Cougars, but all too late. Finds Hazelgrove. Hazelgrove's been good since he went up forward, but just not enough penetration there by the team itself. Puts it in short. David Carr juggles one. And he's paid the mark 40 metres out. Decisive margin here this afternoon, 133 plays 45. Best players for Cougars, very hard to find. Cooper been a good runner all day, but I don't know whether we can put anybody else on the list, Rob, for the uh, Red and Blacks today. They've been very disappointing. Car comes in, 40 metres out. Kicks through the ball nicely. Wait for the goal umpire. He's goaled it. They've finally got their seventh. 7-9 to 21-7. Start to put the ball up now in the centre. Minard continue on with his work against the young Traeger. Good learning curve for him. Minard just too strong. Jack Nelligan traps it on the ground. Gets to the boards. A little toe poke. Only as far as Fitzgerald. He punches it to the centre half forward position. David Carr's back there. He gathers. Goes on the left. Short kick and finds Hall. On the wing Hall. Bright sunshine here now. No wind. Hall punches into the half forward position. Plenty of flyers. Hazelgrove was up high. Couldn't get it. Cooper again off the ground. Hambles it nowhere. Faye gets it to Clawton, back to Faye, on his left, looks for Fitzgerald, Sean that is, he can't mark, Edwards gathers, pokes it inside for Nelligan, Nelligan can't get hold of it, he's got Clawton on the ground and it's going to be a ball up by Peckover, right on the boundary line. Minard still keeping up with the play, taps it over the top and it's finally out of bounds. Plenty of tired bodies. Throws in again, Minard, Traeger. Minard straight to Fitzgerald. Gets a little toe poke forward only as far as Letton. Good pick up. Wobbly kick. Goes back as far as Head. He's going to be paid the free. White not looking at the ball. And Head will relieve out of the back lines for Ramblers. 
kicks it long. Holman's direction, Walker, Walker gets his hands to it, can't mark. Comes out now and finally pushed over the boundary line for another throw in. Walker this time with Traeger, too strong in the body. Thumps it forward and there it is. The end of the 2005 Grand Final, Cummins Ramblers 21 goal 7 defeated Cummins Kapini Cougars 7 goal 9. This has been Robert Parsons and Wilbur Williams from the Angara Oval. Yeah, Wilbur, that's it for 2005. Uh, looks as though Ramblers did their homework and I think they shut down all Cougars runners, Zeb Kenny, young Hawley, young Jack Nelligan. All of those players didn't have an influence on the game, only perhaps Cooper. So they all got shut down and no scoring forward. It's signing off now for 2005.